All right, it's Memorial Day evening. My kid is with his mom at the state park, and my woman is at work. And I'm bored as shit. So, I was going to burn a new chip, and I'm going to do a how-to for the Willem burner. It's old school, but people still use them. Um, oh, before I start, a lot of people say that they have uh, problems with the burner, that the burner errors out with their computer and they can't get it to work and blah 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 it's not the burner it's your computer and that's a fact I've had this burner now for three or four years and it's given me zero issues um, until I decided to hook it up to the PC downstairs one day and could not get a chip to burn or erase it took it was just error after error after error after error and um I thought the burner had taken a shit, so I brought it back up and plugged it in up here, and it, it burned the chip fine, zero problems, right away. Um, after that, I decided to take it back downstairs to test it out, and it aired out, and aired out, and aired out, and aired out. So it's not the it's not the burner; it's the computer that you use, and I'm having issues with the software. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's move on. Uh, I've got the printer port hooked up with this cable straight to here. That's how that goes. Um, here is the 12 volt adapter. Got something on fire. Um, it's Detroit. So the adapter's over there, 12 volts. You'll see the light here get brighter once it's plugged in. You know it's getting power and the jumpers are set up properly when it brightens up like that, boom. So then, you're going to go pick your chip. So, this is a SST, it's a 512 chip. So we're going to set it up for a 512 because that's the most common. Hey, there they go. Alright, so we're going to set it up for the most common, 512. So device, electrical erase, SST, 27 SS, 512, 12 volts okay so after that it's going to show you these do, 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 do. so you've got two down one up one down one up one down three up three down over here on the burner you want to mimic that exactly and do exactly what it's doing over there after that um, you want to make sure the chip is erased and it doesn't have anything on it so see this jumper this jumper goes here it's a white jumper that I picked so you could see it. Um, that's going over to the pins coming out of the uh, out of the circuit board. What that's going to do is jump and allow an erase. So go over here, and we're going to click the freaking erase button, erase, and then you click all three of these, and then erase chip. So we've erased it. All right, now what we want to do is see the question mark. We want to test it and see if it's blank. So now the chip is blank. Then I'm going to load my information, which is I'm using a new chip that I'm burning called uh, Hybrid 17, where I just adjust a couple of degrees of timing from the map that I'm using now. So 17 is loaded now. Here's the tricky part. A lot of people forget to do this. With a uh, with a 512 chip, you're going to be burning on the second half of the chip, and a lot of people forget this. Don't forget this. Down here, you want to put in it's the offset hex. You want to put in 8,000 or 008,000. I just do the 008,000, and what that's going to do is command it to write on the second half of the chip. So I've loaded the information, I've put in 8,000 after erasing it, now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to remove the erase jumper so now I can write. So the chip's in there, I've got it about in the middle with the half moon up towards the 3M, closed, Dude, ready to go, got the erase thing or the erase jumper removed. I'm going to go over here, and that's at 8,000. I've got my information loaded, and I'm going to hit the lightning bolt at the top. 
Now it's going to ask me if I want to write at 8,000, and I do. So, boom. Let's write it. And see what it's doing. See how it reads. Now it should verify it. Okay. Now, what I do, I don't have to do this, but it's verified at once, but I like to verify it more than once. What I also like to do is check the blank test and make sure that it reads till the half of the chip. Boom. It stops at, it says device not empty at about 50%. What that's telling you that it's finding information halfway through the chip. So you know it's writing on the second half and it's done right. So then after I do that, I verify my chip to three. Sometimes it catches an error on four or five passes. Three, four, five. So I did five total verifies and it's cool. So the chip should be cool. So now that it's done, I'm going to come down here and pop the chip out and label it so I don't get it confused with my other ones and run it and that's pretty much it so I put my jumper back unplug everything put it away and I'm good to go and that's how you use the Willem without fucking it up later